What it is, what it does, what it is, what it was. It's your boy Lane Trucker, back with another. Why you sleeping on us? Why you sleeping on us? No cap, we gonna have to make them believe us. Doing flatbed, you just never know where you're gonna end up. Look at this. I'm talking about I came, drove back over here. My truck, see that over there? That's a house. Truck trailer over there. I mean, the, the road was winding. It was crazy. Like it was one of those things that uh, I'm gonna go better turn around if I just happen to go into the wrong spot. It's not even on the on the uh, GPS thing. I had to get a pin drop. If this your first time to my channel. I invite you to subscribe, like, and share the videos if they help you or you think they can help anybody else. My uh, channel is about uh, trucking, obviously, being an own operator, but also trying to stay fit uh, and in shape out here and healthy as a driver as well. After the last video I made about my truck and the motor and all that, I uh, had some questions about my advice to give uh, an own operator. So that's what I make this video about. I won't make it long. Um, but I got my number one, <laughs> number one tip I can give. I'm gonna spound on that. Before I get to that, let me show you. Um, haven't done this in a while, but I always say that I am gonna show what I'm eating. So let me show real quick the meals that I have for today. All right, let me show this because I keep on seeing, you know, I'm mean, about to show my meals. Well, I'm eating to try to either lose a couple of pounds and kind of stay in shape. So right now, I'm trying to lose about eight pounds, but uh, here we go. This is uh, quiche, but it's basically just egg whites. Oh, yeah, egg whites, uh, some beef sausage in there, and you can see some spinach on top. Love this right here. This is uh, like steak meat. Got, uh, you can tell, you can see the uh, vegetables, and it got this uh, Panda Express. I forgot that uh, kind of chicken they sell, but the flavor is delicious. Zero calorie Coke, low calorie uh, body arm. I love it for electrolytes and potassium. You see, right there is the protein bar. And this right here is just this packet right here with uh, some apple cider vinegar. And yeah, it's gonna be breakfast whenever I get to it. That's gonna be lunch and you know, snacks. And that's how I go. Okay, the first thing I recommend for starting this stuff is have a plan. That's more, that's uh, just as important as any of this thing, uh, any of this stuff I'm about to say. Have a plan. Um, don't just go buy a truck and then um, try to figure out what, what you're gonna do with it. What you're gonna put on. Another thing I don't recommend, um, all this is just advice. But you can do whatever it is that you want to do. So, um, is I wouldn't start out as a somebody getting my own authority either. Uh, if I just started out, uh, I wouldn't do that as well because again, that means you need to have a plan. If you decide to just start out an own operator and you don't have any connections, not an own operator, own operator under your own authority, you don't have any connections or anything like that. Um, I've seen a ton of people go out of business with that model. Um, a lot of people don't think about when they're doing that is that um, the spot market is literally up and down. I mean, up and down. It can, you can have a great week this week, you can have a great couple weeks, and then they can just bottom out and be bottom out for a long time. And a lot of people can't get past that long time. Tip I'm gonna give you, the actual main tip, is to help you through that long time part. Another thing people don't factor in is uh, what are you hauling? That's what I mean by have a plan. Like, as you see, as I spoke, I have a flatbed. Um, some people prefer a reefer, some drive in. Um, you got sand trucks, dump trucks. Uh, that's, that's quite, you know, a uh, uh, fuel. I've done that before. You got different divisions out here that you can go into. But if you're going to do your own authority, which is why I just said I don't recommend it your first time out, you need to get your own equipment, which means you also got to buy a trailer of some kind as well or rent it out, however you're gonna do it. Okay, that's that. I can go into more details of that in another video. If you guys have any questions about any of that stuff, drop your comment down below and I'll try to get uh, get to it. But the actual tip is this. Take your first year of, of um, your, first, your first year 
of when you're a money, like when you start getting owner operator money and just sit on it, save it. Now let me explain what I mean by that. I like this guy finna come let me in. I'm waiting on the gate here. But they do, I'll get back to it. But for now I'm not sure. So let me expound on that. What I mean is, okay, let's say you make $1,200 a week as a company guy doing whatever. Actually, I bumped that up because if you're doing over the road, you should make more than 1200. I was kind of more thinking local. Let's say you're making $1,800 a week. Um, 15, okay, 15. I just read the middle of 12 and 18. $1,500 a week. Look like they offering to come let me in. I'll get back to the video in a second. Yeah, they came and got me, but look at this. This is what I was saying that, never know, flatbed. So, yeah, we're going back here. I'll show y'all what I'm uh, picking up. I'm picking up from Stone. I'll show it as well, but uh, okay. Now let me get back to uh, what my actual tip is and why. All right, back to it. So, $1,500 I was referring to a week. Let's say that's what you make. You're grossing that, and then you're netting whatever you so when you get out here and you are an own operator the, the, it don't matter which route you decide to go at this point um, let's say you double that you get 3,000 gross right I'm saying take that 1500 that you gross an extra a week and just put it away don't touch it create a business savings account and I was trying to adjust the camera take a create a business saving account and put it all over there and do that for an entire year <laughs> that way you will have the six thousand a month um do this off the top of my head so it's 72 i believe seventy two thousand dollars a year that year now the reason why it's vitally important did i do that of course not <laughs> do a lot of people do it of course not a lot of people don't know don't recognize but this is what happens typically for most of us this is what happened to me happened to friends I knew, happened to different people. Um, you just, now you got the influx of income and then you change your lifestyle. I'm saying live with the same lifestyle for that first year, minimum. Don't go buy another car, don't upgrade, don't upgrade anything. If you was just fine on that $1,500 gross a week, stay with that. Um, and the reason is because of what I was saying earlier, the fluctuations. They, they won't bother you because you saved your money. People don't account for this. Uh, the loader is coming by, so hopefully you can see her. People is not accounting for uh, breakdowns, PMs. Uh, I had a trailer issue. I had a trailer issue that uh, get some things done that cost me like twelve hundred dollars. Like people is not account for those different things. You got eighteen tires. Let me let me try to get up. Walk, let me walk around a little bit. I, um, you got 18 tires, right? Where, where this company guy, you got to worry about any of that stuff. So, if some of these more different uh, expenses I could go through, but then I'm gonna make this video even longer. So, I just want to keep it short and sweet. So, again, just to go over there real quick without all the details, the, the advice I could give, the number one piece of advice that I would give you is. Do not change your lifestyle. Take that excess money, the excess money, <laughs> money, the excess money, and save it. Like people don't even factor in taxes. When you're a W-20 employee, you work for, for the, the government, not the government, work for a company. At the end of the year, most people get a tax return. And this, in this arena, you paying taxes if you don't do your, uh, if you don't do your, your stuff right. That's another video about how to like save money on taxes. So it's a lot of stuff to learn. The bottom line is, don't change your lifestyle. Take that extra money, put it into a savings account, okay? And let me go and get to this. At the end of this clip, I may show, you know, what I actually got in here on the truck or whatever, but I don't know, I'm just so ready to go. It's been a long day. Time to hit the road. Finish tighten it down. That's the finished product. Let me get it back in. Okay. Let's go. Keep it in mind, stay on the grind, one day at a time. Absolutely.